Hi, I would like to talk about chemical equilibrium in this video. So, in this experiment, we had uh, the equilibrium reaction shown on the picture. On the left side, the reaction side, we have ion free plus ions and thiocyanate ions. And on the product side, we have ion thiocyanate with a charge of 2 plus. This reaction is um, in an aqueous solution. And when the product ion thiocyanate is formed, uh, the solution will turn red. And then, um, what, so actually what an equilibrium reaction is, is when a reaction can be reversed. There is the forward reaction to the right, where reactants are being formed into products. And there is the reverse reaction, where uh, products are being formed into reactants. So an equilibrium reaction has four particular features under constant conditions which is shown over here. Um, it is dynamic, which means that um, it is constant, continuously reacting. So in an equilibrium reaction that is dynamic, um, there will always be formed reactants and there will also always be formed um, products. Uh, the forward and the reverse reactions also occur at the same rate, so the rate of rate to the right is equal to the rate to the left and the concentration of the reactants and product remain constant at equilibrium um, as the um, rate of reactions are equal and it also requires a closed system. The reason to this is that none of the uh, reactants or products escapes from the reaction mixture which is very important for it to be in, in chemical equilibrium. So in this experiment, we wanted to experience and see how um, you could disturb a chemical equilibrium. And you can disturb a chemical equilibrium by either increasing or decreasing um, the temperature, or um, increasing or decreasing the pressure, or maybe also, um, not maybe, you can have an addition to the concentration of either reactants or the products. So when the chemical um, equilibrium is disturbed, um, direction will either go to the left or to the right to reestablish the equilibrium. So in this experiment, it was very clear whether it was reaction, reactants being formed or the products being formed due to the color change happening. So in this experiment, when iron thiocyanate is formed, the solution would turn red. And therefore, the darker the, um, the red is, the higher concentration of it was. And when the reactants were being formed, the solution would turn orange as the concentration of the products were being reduced, so the uh, solution would also be lighter. Um, in this video, I, would, I will be talking and referring to the Chatelier's principle, which is a principle that states that if one or more factors that affect an equilibrium is changed, the position of the equilibrium shifts uh, in the direction that reduces or opposes the change. Um, in test tube 1, we increased um, the concentration of iron 3 ions, which is one of the reactions on the left side. Um, um, so when we added the iron 3 plus ions to the solution, the chemical equilibrium was broken, and it tried to um, establish chemical equilibrium again. So the difference can be seen in this picture. What we have in test tube 1, we have the solution. Um, where, where um, F33 plus ions has already been added to, and then we have in this tube we have the normal um, equilibrium solution. So you can see uh, how um, you can see it as a comparison that the solution now has turned darker red, which means that um, reaction to the right occurs and products are being formed to reestablish the chemical equilibrium. Um, so also according to the Chatelier's principle, since we added iron 3 plus ions to it, um, it will try to post it and is also therefore working in the rightward, uh, rightward direction um, and more product is being formed. This can also be explained by using the equilibrium expression. So this is the equilibrium expression. So we have the equilibrium constant which is equal to the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. And in this experiment, this is how our equilibrium expression looks like. So we have the concentration of iron thiocyanate 
divided by the concentration of ion 3 plus ions times the concentration of thiocyanate. Um, and at equilibrium, K should be equal to Q. Um, but when we increase or decrease the products or reactions, the ratio value changes. So Q changes. Um, K is still a constant and will not change. Change It will be Q that changes. So if the va value of the reactants increase, then Q is getting smaller and will therefore uh, make more products to get the values to be equal again. So if we look at test tube 1, we can um, say that Q is smaller than K as we increase the... Um, we increase the concentration of the reactants and therefore it will try it would make more products to even it out and make k equal to q again as it has to be in a chemical equilibrium in test tube 2 we stress the equilibrium by adding more of the thiocyanate which was in form of solid potassium thiocyanate we again saw the solution turn darker since the reaction is going towards the right again as we um oh towards right, creating more product to re-establish the uh, chemical equilibrium. So um, this can again be explained using the equilibrium expression as we're dividing by a greater number. So Q is smaller than K, which was the same that happened in test tube 1. So before doing test tube 3, we mix ascorbic acid uh, with a solution containing ion 3 ions. The ascorbic acid um, reduces the iron 3 ions to iron 2 ions, which you can see here, um, which we could see by the solution also losing its yellow color, which is shown here. This is the after picture. Um, iron 3 ions is a solution that has a red, uh, I'm sorry, uh, a yellow color, and when it reduced um, um, the iron 3 ions to iron 2 ions, it, lose, it lost its, its um, yellow color. So in t our test tube 3, we added ascorbic acid to our equilibrium solution, which is shown in the video right here, where we see that um, we added a solid into our solution. Or, well, not a solid. Yeah, it's kind of a solid. Um, we added the ascorbic acid to the solution, and then um, we could see the, um, the solution losing its color or, like, turning yellow, which um, is the reaction to the right. So they are forming um, more reactants. And uh, this can also uh, be explained using the Chalier's principle um, as we are converting the iron 3 ions to iron 2 ions. So it will work to the le left as it wants to create more ions for it to be at equilibrium again. So also to explain this using the equilibrium expression, uh, the concentration of the products is larger uh, than the concentration of the reactions. Therefore, Q is larger than K. Before test tube 4, we made a small test in a test tube that we tagged B, which you can see in the picture right here. Uh, we added potassium thiocyanate uh, solution and added a couple of drops of silver nitrate. Uh, we observed a white precipitate was because uh, silver thiocyanate um, forms, forms a precipitate. It forms a solid. And um, potassium and nitrate form a soluble salt and are still in an aqueous solution. They work as spectator, spectator ions, or well, here together, they're together as they're in aqueous solution, but they are also in um, ions for themselves, and they have no impact on the reaction. In test tube 4, we added silver nitrate and a decrease in the concentration of the thiocyanate occurred. We have observed it turn lighter red with a faint of white precipitate. As it did in test tube 3, the reaction went to the left. In the last two test tubes 5 and 6, uh, we tried to increase and decrease the temperature of the solutions. Test tube 5 was placed in a water bath at 50 degrees for a few minutes and test tube 6 was placed in a water bath for uh, with some ice cubes. We observed that in test tube 5 the uh, with the increased temperature uh, that it turned to a lighter red. This is because of the iron thiocyanate uses heat to, to be produced since it is an exothermic uh, rack to the right. So what happens when uh, we increase the temperature, uh, the reaction to the left will occur as it wants to reduce the heat and it is endothermic to the left, so more reactants will be produced if we increase the temperature. If we decrease the temperature, which we did in test tube 6, 
uh, the opposite thing happens. Um, for the equilibrium to be reestablished again, uh, the reaction to the right that forms product products have to occur, which is the reason to why we can see on the picture here is that um, test tube 6 is a more um, darker red as it has a concentration larger than um, fire pass. So here we can see it is very uh, it's lighter. Then we have 7, which is just a preference where we can see the original color. And then we have uh, 6. Afterwards, we wanted to see what an addition of water would do to the chemical equilibrium. So uh, we tried to double the volume. So we already know that the chemical, uh, well, the equilibrium expression looks like this. And the way to calculate the, um, the concentration is that we have the concentration equals the amount of substance divided by the volume. So when we double the, um, the volume, we have the concentration formula changing. So it is the amount of substance divided by 2 times the volume, which can also um, be changed into 1 divided by 2 times um, and the amount of substance divided by the volume, which is equal to um, a half times C, the, the concentration. So um, our equilibrium expression will then, will then change to that we have a half, um, well, since we have two times because we double, so we have um, a half times the concentration of iron thiocyanate, and then we have one th fourth of um, one fourth times uh, the concentration of iron, uh, three ions, and one point fourth times the concentration of thiocyanate. Um, and then when we put it in, when we take the next step, then we say one to um, over two divided by one over four, which we time by Q. And then it will give us that one over two, uh, a half times Q. Um, here we can see that um, if we add water to our solution, K would Q. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Q would be um, larger than K as there are more reactants than products. It will then try to establish equilibrium by moving to the right, forming products, and reduce the change. This is um, shown in the picture here. We see the solution before, and then this is when we add. The solution um, would turn. Uh, darker red or well not commit to this but it would turn darker red than it was before.